What's up YouTube? This is Niner Peak on a beautiful Sunday here. This is Sunday afternoon about 12:14 p.m. here in Northeast US. I'm in New York riding on Long Island roads. Beautiful beautiful day. It's a nice cool breeze. I have my windshield down. I kind of want to go through the cruise control or adaptive cruise control and I'm doing quotes adaptive or active <laughs> okay so I want to do uh, a little demo on how this active or adaptive cruise control works right now I have my cruise control enabled I'm gonna turn it off I hope the Sun is not too bright my screen is on 100% brightness right now and you guys can see all the indicators on top side that will show you all the cruising statuses all right so I'm gonna turn it off right now when your cruise control is turned off you can see there that there's nothing right in the middle so one way to turn it on there's an on off switch on the left hand side by the way all the cruise control settings are on the left hand uh, are on the left hand of the handlebar so nothing on the right side it's only for stop and go and ignition kill switch on the right side you click the on cruise control on off switch to left to turn it on to right to turn it on I turn it to the right it turns on and in this exercise I'm gonna go through different ways you can set the set the cruising speed set the distances and hopefully I'll be able to show you how to do that sorry there was a quick right turns for me here and uh, I'm pretty sure I, I would be able to show you what the following distances are at least I'm hoping to do that and also uh, to show you how to disengage there are multiple ways you can disengage the cruise control um, you know it's just for safety and we're gonna go through all of that so without further ado let's dive into it so I have cruise control on right now it's not set there are two different distinct statuses right that one is on so this is on this is off this is on again so when it's on all the cruise control indicators will show you uh, the gray symbols they're not in any color they're just gray grayed out right so that tells you cruise is on but it's not active and you are in the control I'm gonna set the cruise speed so to set the cruise speed or to resume to the previous set cruise speed you have a little bit uh, uh, you have a little stick on the left hand side right so it says res and set you push the stick away from from you it sets the speed you pull it towards you it resumes to the previous speed so i'm gonna set right now i'm at 30 miles 20 28 miles an hour so 30 i'm gonna set it there you go so once it's set right now it is showing you that all the indicators are green that means the motorcycle is taking control of the speed it's set at 30 miles an hour oh there you go I have to hit the brake because this is turn and you guys noticed actually as soon as I hit the brake the cruise control disengage I'm sorry for the interruption there but that's one way to disengage cruise control it, you know as soon as as soon as you press any of the brake front rear doesn't matter it will disengage the cruise control now let's put it back so again hey look at that you can set it so we just did that set action previously now i'm gonna resume to the cruise control right so previous setting was 30 i'm at 28 27 i'm gonna resume that means pull the stick towards me it's at 25 right now and it's the speed is increasing to 30. in between two lanes and the symbol you know it shows you road and the two lanes on the side what you can do there is set the following distance so right now my following distance is set to three i can reduce that all right there's a stop sign my gps is telling me to turn right let's take this right and then i'll resume talking all right nobody here i am in fourth gear again and I'm gonna hit resume it goes down to 30 uh, it goes up to 30 again and you can see so if I press the following distance button here on my left hand side it shows me three bars three bars is the longest following distance so the way I see it is the number of cars to follow so three 
cars following distance three cars length following distance right now I can change it to two and then I can change it to one one is a little bit uncomfortable to me there's I didn't find much difference between one and two there's much difference between two and three so three is what I'm comfortable with I keep it like that on three and hopefully I'll be able to show that when we're in traffic so right now it doesn't matter what I keep like the distance one two or three since there was no car in front of me it does not really matter okay so it's another stop sign there are a lot of motorcycles here today as I was saying it's a beautiful beautiful day I just hope I get to make this freaking right left turn. Oh my god. Okay, and what you just witnessed? That's the quick shifter. I did not hold my clutch at all. Anyways, back to cruise control. So I'm gonna put it to resume again. I'm at 35. Or you know what, let's set it because the new speed limit on this road is 35. So I'm gonna set it. It says to 36, that was my speed. Now I can go up and down my speed limit. So the cruising, cruising speed actually, not the speed limit of the road of course, the cruising speed limit. Uh, right now it's 36. I want exact 35. You know why? Because I have freaking OCD. I can't have these numbers in the middle. I can have, you know, jumps of five. Okay? All right, you want to blame me? Blame me. I do have this thing. So I'm going to set it to 35. I'm going to set it to 35. And brake, actually. <laughs> okay. Too many freaking red lights on this road. I'm coming down. Um, I'm going to join uh, Route 25A. This is one of the best routes on Long Island. Uh, trust me, this is beautiful. It has no turn on red, so I can't go through. So I'm going to have to just wait. Another great thing that this motorcycle has is uh, hill assist. So right now, I'm in hill assist. I'm not holding brake. Um, even if I'm in neutral. There you go. But the bike is holding. Here are my hands. Right? It has that H, green. That means I'm on hill assist. So that's one of the best features. I use it all the time. It's just a force of habit. You know, on the hill, the bike will engage. And to disengage, just put it in the gear and start moving. That's it, no special. The hill, hill assist just comes off and the motorcycle just starts rolling. If you want to engage that hill, hill assist manually, you can just uh, really squeeze your front brake and it just engages fantastic feature by BMW there again I did not have a BMW in my life before this is my first Beamer so I'm all fascinated about these things little things this this German engineering little things make huge difference in your riding experience all right so we are on route 25a I'm gonna set my cruise to you know 38 that's my current speed but I want to go to 50 so there's there are a couple of ways you can change your speed limit you can either you know tap or yeah tap the stick or move the stick uh, forward if you just tap it once it moves it changes the speed limit by one so if I move it forward it's 39 it's 40 right so one tap one mile per hour difference it's same as your car right no no rocket science there nothing new if you pull the stick towards you, it changes by one mile again. So pull once, 39, pull twice, 38, third time, 37, right? So no, no fancy stuff there. Another best thing is if I wanna switch it by five miles an hour, so you can jump, right? I wanna, I wanna go to 40. I just hold the stick away from me for a second and then it goes to 40, right? directly jump from 37 directly jump from 37 miles an hour to 40 miles an hour as soon as you hit the brakes it totally gives you the speed control and you are in control of the motorcycle so cruise control is still on it's set at 40 miles an hour but it's all grayed out that means it's not doing anything it's just there either you can set it to engage it again or 
resume to engage it again at the previous set speed limit which was 40 in this case all right time to go and again i don't really have to shift through i can just set you know i can just hit resume it goes to 40 and i can use my quick shifter just to shift gears and and nothing to it it's so seamless right now i'm in sixth gear and you guys already saw that i had put uh, the cruise control much much earlier as soon as i left the light so i want to set it to 50 because that's the speed limit of the road so again i don't have to now from to 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 go from 40 miles an hour to 50 miles an hour i do not have to press the stick like 10 times i can just hold it and every second it will jump by five miles an hour so i hold it away from me 45 50 there you go it's actually less than a, <laughs> less than a second that it makes those changes so it's at 55 right now and as you can see <laughs> the motorcycle actually increases speed uh, i'll keep it at 55 i hope that you got that you guys don't hear too much wind noise and it's you know pretty clear good god i couldn't keep like one speed limit come on just less red lights please god where are you going where is this guy gonna go of course he's a bmw oh i forgot i'm bmw family now i can't really you know talk shit about beamers all right whatever he did don't do that that's rude i think that's that's the best i can do so my cruise control is set at 60 miles an hour i'm going 56 miles an hour just because it's 60 it's not taking me at 60 miles an hour because the car in front of me is actually going at 55 that's your active cruise control now i'm going to change the following distance this is the following distance you get for level three this is the maximum uh, following distance or the farthest following distance i'm going to set it to two there you go that's two and you can see as that car is slowing down my motorcycle is slowing down too i am not hitting brake uh, if i hit the brake okay that was a sudden brake there the motor the car wanted to turn actually it was very graceful what my motorcycle did but i ended up taking the control and that's a good demo nice and again this is practical that can happen right so let's do let's hit resume I'm at 60 miles an hour the car in front of me is 46 45 and I am doing two the medium distance the medium follow distance and this is how it is I don't like it much let's see how one looks like so this is one following distance as you can see I mean I clearly cannot tell much difference one and two are kind of the same I would say them yeah closer to the vehicle in front of you and when I hit three here you will see the distance would be much much longer speed up because that car moved out what a perfect timing i'm getting today great there you go now the car, now the motorcycle is braking again that car is slow the chevy in front of me and this is the longest following distance i love this it gives you this is like what one two three three seconds following distance and i like that i don't like anything lower than this it gives you more reaction time because you know when you're on cruise you're a little bit relaxed you're doing your long haul highway riding you know that's when you you can use cruise or it would be more beneficial when you use cruise and i think cruise control on this motorcycle is fantastic just to show you how it slows down i'm going to change the lane go no brakes again and how do you know that i'm not braking right because the cruise control lights all those indicators are still green the moment i hit brake they just go gray right it disables so i'm going to show you multiple ways to disable it one is clearly easier one uh, which i'm going to do right now hit the brake and then there you go your cruise control disengaged okay i set it back so it's going to increase the speed again i'm not using my throttle it's just increasing on its own 
and it's gonna stop with the following distance that I have set up behind this car and not speed anymore. The second way to disengage is to hold clutch for about three to four seconds. So I'm gonna hold my clutch out now. Three, two, there you go, three seconds. And that that's your that's that's your second way to disengage cruise control. If you hold your clutch for about two to three seconds, it will disengage. When you hit the brake in your cruise control, like if you're cruising at 70, if you're cruising at 60 miles an hour and you hit brake, it's very abrupt disengagement, right? You feel it. If you have a passenger, your passenger will feel it. Uh, same goes with the clutch. The moment you hold the clutch and you're cruising at 60 miles an hour, you know, you, you're suddenly your rear wheel is free of the engine, right? And then you feel that jerk. It takes away your cruise control uh, and your speed is no more set at cruise but it's a jerky jerky movement so what you can do to take care of cruise uh, or disengage the cruise in a very controlled way is actually start giving a little bit of throttle and then tap your tap your rear brake just tap it just a little tap you don't mean to brake but just a tap so that cruise and cruise control disengages right that's that is pretty fantastic that that's a different completely different feeling of disengaging from cruise control so I'm gonna set it again to whatever the speed we have 46 miles an hour now and I'm gonna give throttle you see the road in the middle went away but the lanes are still there they're green 46 still shows it's green that means as soon as I let go of my throttle the motorcycle takes control and it's gonna keep me at 46 miles an hour because that's my current set speed to disengage gracefully I would say give the throttle the moment you have the control tap the brake you so what happened I'm gonna do it one more time I'm gonna resume it right give the throttle the middle portion goes away lanes still there and tap the brake everything grays out now I'm in control so we were talking about four four ways to disengage your cruise control right so this last way one is hitting the brakes second is just turning on and off the cruise control switch third is to hold your clutch for about two to three seconds and now fourth one is to actually roll your throttle away from you the motorcycle takes actually a second to let go of the cruise control but the indicators disable and what you can do is give back a little bit of throttle so this is the transfer of the control of the power from the computer to your right hand and we're going to demo that as soon as we get the green light over here all right here we go and we use quick shift again yeah it is fantastic okay so we go to resume cruise we were previously at 48 I'm gonna make it 50 miles an hour so that the cars don't run into me from behind and to let go of the cruise control or disable the cruise control or stop the cruise control what we can do is to roll the throttle away from you and then take control again so roll it away and roll back <laughs> roll the throttle away to disengage and roll it again to take control all right roll again towards you to take control so i'm gonna change my lane go to this slow lane so the cars don't go crazy by me and i'm gonna try to keep the speed to whatever it was right so let's set it at 44 right 44 43 roll away and take control again you see 43 did not change it stayed and that's what you want for that smooth uh, transfer of the control of the power so that it's smoother transition for yourself and smoother transition mainly for your passenger this is RT right so this is a touring bike it needs to feel smoother or comfortable for both you and your passenger so BMW added this neat feature to roll away your throttle to disengage cruise control and then ability to roll back in right and there's it gives you about a fraction of a second to take that control so yeah if, if there's anything about this bike that you would like to know 
please leave your comments and I'll make sure that I have a video for it. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing because when you subscribe, it's free for you. Uh, but it, it does wonders for, for the channel. Thank you very much again and have a beautiful day. Bye-bye. Good God, I couldn't keep like one speed limit. Come on. Just less red light, please, God. Where are you going? Where's this guy gonna go? Of course, it's a BMW. Oh, I forgot, I'm BMW family now. I can't really, you know, talk shit about Beamers. Alright, whatever he did, don't do that. That's rude. I think that's, that's the best I can do.